uh, coach here after. Mike. Um, the, the, the All Blacks have made quite a significant change at 10. Um, does the dynamic change at all as far as defence is concerned? And, and then just what, what does uh, Richie Moana bring to the table that's possibly unique compared to Bowen? Yeah. Uh, we know he's a world-class player. You know, we've got a, a massive, massive respect for him and, uh, and his team. And you know what he has achieved for Crusaders, you know, as a player. Uh, winning Super I don't know for how many years in a row. You know, he's a, he's a big, big, big player for them. And I don't think they, they're losing much on having him to start. They're actually gaining more because of he's a very, very tough customer, you know. He can mix his game around very well when it comes between running and also using the kicks to get into space. So we know tomorrow it's going to be a different challenge having him there. Uh, Barrett also did well. He was world class. We've got respect also for him. But I think Mahunga will bring something different. You know, so we we spoke about him and uh, uh, and we know how dangerous it is. And once again, to play against the All Blacks, like I said last week, you know, Percy mentioned it said that you you can't just not switch off. You can't switch off when you play against them. You have to be at your best for 80 minutes. The moment you switch off, they've got proper, proper world-class players there that can punish you. So once again, it's going to be a tough game. But I think these are the moments we live for, you know. It's a very, very special moment. And it's also sometimes, I have to be honest about it, it's also good for us as South Africans, you know, to, to produce the results, to keep our people happy, to keep our supporters happy, you know, because of We've been through tough time as a, as, a, as, a, as a team. If you look back around 2016 when I started getting involved with the team, 2017, we've been through tough times. A lot of these players I know, they went through that process also. They were going through tough times. To be able to see those players now growing as, a, as human beings and, 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 and as brothers also. So it's something that I, I enjoy to see, you know. Uh, looking at a guy like Sia from Sweden, you know, uh, he, he showed, listen, life is all about opportunities, you know. He was given an opportunity to lead the team, and I think it's something that see I can be proud of, you know. And uh, also the guys around our team, the guys around our team. I think we are in a good pay, uh, space as a, as a as a nation. I think we are in a good space as a as a Springbok team. And like Sia mentioned again, I think South African rugby in general, we are in a good space. If you see what the Blitz sport has achieved, and you look at the ladies now to be able to beat Japan away from home, that is massive. The junior teams are also uh, performing very well. So. I think it's, I'm very, very proud to be South African where I am, and it's good to see that we can contribute in the country, you know, as a team.